Hi, in this class we will learn an important topic which is comparison of two given numbers. So in this class we will learn how to compare given numbers. Now whenever we are comparing two numbers then there come two cases. In the first case you can see that number of digits in the two numbers to be compared are not equal. So the first case is one in which the number of digits in the two numbers that we are going to compare are not equal. Now if you want to take an example of such a case, note that if you want to compare a number 9087 with the number 10156. So for instance, the first number that we have is 9087 and we have to compare this number by the second number which is 10156. Now, because these numbers are very big, we cannot plot them or write them on a number line and see which one lies to the right or which one is greater than the other. So we will have to resort to other methods to find which of these two numbers are greater. Now, in this case, if you count the number of digits in the first number, you will realize that in this number, number of digits is equal to 4 because there are 4 digits, this is a digit, this is a digit, this and this are also digits and so there are 4 such digits. We say that number of digits here in the first number is 4. Similarly, if you look at the second number and count the number of digits in the second number, you will realize that in the second number, number of digits is equal to 5 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we have 5 digits and so the number of digits is 5. And whenever we are comparing two, two numbers with different number of digits, what we do is, we say that the greater number has more number of digits. So the rule to compare two numbers that have different number of digits is that we always look at the number of digits in the two numbers and then say that the greater number is the one which has more number of digits. So clearly the smaller number will become the other number which has lesser number of digits. Now in our specific case note that the first number had 4 digits and the second number had 5 digits and because 5 is greater than 4 we will say that this number having more number of digits is greater than the other number. So we will say that this implies number of digits of this number are greater than this number and so we say that this number 10156 is greater than this number which is 9087. So whenever we are comparing two numbers with unequal number of digits, we simply compare the number of digits in the two numbers and the digit or the number with the larger number of digits is always the greater number. So we have now seen the first case in which the number of digits in the given numbers are unequal. Now we will see the second case in which we will deal with equal number of digits that is the number of digits in the two numbers will be equal. So now let us look at the second case in which we are dealing with numbers which have equal number of digits. So let me make a partition over here and we will now study the second case. Now the first case was number of digits are, e are not equal and so the second case will be number of digits are equal. So in the second case we will see an example where we are comparing numbers in which the number of digits are exactly the same. So now we will look at a case in which the number of digits are equal. So now suppose we want to compare numbers such as 9018871. So the first number is a very big one which is 9018871 and we have to compare this number with say another number which is 9018781. We are now trying to compare these two numbers. The first number is this 9018871 which is a large number and the second number again is a large number 9018781 and we have to compare which of these two is larger. Note that if you look at the first number it has number of digits equal to 7 because there are 7 digits in this number 9018871 and 1. So if you count the number of digits you will get 7 digits and so we say that in the first number number of digits is equal to 7. Well, if you count the number of digits in the second number, you will realize that in the second number also, if you count the number of digits, you will again get the count 7 because if you count the digits, first digit, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh digits. 
So we have seven digits in each of these numbers. Now, because the number of digits are the same, we cannot apply the first test because the first test applies only when one number has greater number of digits than the other one. In this case, both numbers have equal number of digits and so we can now say that to compare these two numbers, we will first write down those two numbers one below the other. So I am writing down this first number 9018871 and exactly below it I write the other number that is 9018781. So I get another number as 9018781 and next what I do is I start comparing each of the individual digits starting from the leftmost digit. If you look at the first number, the leftmost digit is 9 and so I will start comparing this leftmost digit with the corresponding leftmost digit of the second number. Note that I am comparing these leftmost digits only because the number of digits is the same. If the number of digits were different then we would apply this first test and so we could already easily determine simply by looking at the number of digits but because here the number of digits are the same we first check this column that is column containing the leftmost digits. Now because both these digits are the same, we cannot conclude which of these two is larger and so we move one place to the right. Moving one place to the right, you again realize that both these digits are zero and both these digits are the same and so we move one more place to the right. Again we are faced with the same two digits one and one and so we cannot find which of the two is greater and so once more we will move one more place to the right. So we will continue moving to the right whenever we realize that the number or the digit in that given column is exactly the same. Now 8 and 8 is again equal and so we cannot conclude anything and we move one more place to the right. And now when we come to the right you will realize that the first digit is 8 whereas the second digit is 7. So here the first time we have obtained that the digit in the first number and the second number are different. And because the digits are different now we will simply compare these two digits and say that the number with the larger digit is the greater number. So in this case we will say that now 8 is greater than 7 and so we write 8 is greater than 7. And so we can say that this first number because 8 belongs to this first number and we can now say that therefore 9018871 is greater. So this number is greater than the second number and the second number containing 7 is 9018781. So we have now reached this result that the first number here 9018871 is greater than the second number 9018781. So the general method to compare any two numbers is first we look at the number of digits and if the number of digits are unequal we simply say that number with the larger number of digits is the greater number. But there are cases in which the number of digits in the two numbers are equal and whenever you are faced with such a situation in which the number of digits in the two numbers are equal, in that case we write the numbers one below the other and then we start with the leftmost digit of each number and we compare the leftmost digit first. If the leftmost digit is equal then we compare the digit to the right of that digit or right of that column and so if again we get equal digit then we continue still more to the right and so we keep moving to the right whenever we see that the number in or rather the digit in the columns, digit in both these rows are exactly the same. So here we saw that we started with this number which was the leftmost digit. We realized that 9 and 9 are the same so we moved to the right. 0 and 0 are the same so we moved to the right. 1 and 1 are the same so we moved to the right. 8 and 8 are the same so we moved to the right but 8 and 7 are not the same and so we stop over here. And we report that because 8 is greater than 7, this first number is greater than this second number. And in this way we can compare any two given numbers very easily.